starting the stream up here. And here we go. Everything looks like it's in order. All right. I am going to take this headset off. So we're having a quick little live stream here. While this populates, I'm going to talk a little bit about some frequently asked questions. The first question um, I'm, I want to answer is a question I get all the time. People always have questions about cases. So like for example, on Poker Chip Forum, who's one of our sponsors, thank you, Poker Chip Forum, for sponsoring our channel, we have this question that was asked of me. Your YouTube videos are awesome. Ah, oh, shucks. Uh, I really feel like I can improve them, but thank you. What case would you recommend for the 600 to 1000 chip range? I'm thinking Pelican. And you can see I agree with him, Pelican all the way. This is real NGA. NGA stands for National Gaming Auditor, I'm sure. Uh, so, but this question really depends and kind of this discussion leads to different things. And again, Poker Chip Forum is a great place to discuss stuff like this. Uh, how's the audio coming through? Everybody's, uh, everybody can hear me pretty clearly. I can read. Uh, everybody's like, you're coming across 555. So uh, let me show you some of my poker chip sets and some of my cases. We can discuss kind of the uses of cases. So one of my first cases is for this set. This is my championship poker series. It's kind of a World Series knockoff set cheap china clays it's a fun set i don't really travel with it we don't play it that often but it's kind of a fun set to have and i have it in a really inexpensive case that's kind of falling apart so not a case i'd recommend to travel with i'll show you that here in a second another set that i have in a case is my tiki king set you can see ceramic tiki kings this is a case i travel out west Nevada, locally, it's just a wonderful set and a wonderful case. It's only a 300 chip set though. And then I have my Horseshoe Cincinnati. And I have 600 of these plus a couple of extra. You never know, sometimes things get broken, so I have a few extra. Horseshoe Cincinnati, which I got at a great deal, by the way. So the question of which case is right. Okay, so look at, let's look at some of my cases. Here you will see my nano case that's where my tiki kings are it's the bright green yellowish travel case nano pelican uh, whatever you find i know on poker chip forum people talk about a case that's available on uh sam's club or costco one of them i forget where it was one of those big box membership kind of retailers club membership retailers they have cases like that nano that you see in this picture and then you can see next to that, there's this birdcage, this big plexiglass case. And that's where my 600 Cincinnati horseshoe chips are. So that's the birdcage. And for me, there's a huge difference between these two cases. The Nanook is something that you can throw in your luggage. You could check something like that. There are little holes that you can lock. You can actually put a padlock on that so you can lock it. This is a great travel case. The birdcage, not so much. As far as I know, there's no... I mean, you could just throw a padlock on the top handle there, but how secure is that, really? So it's kind of, for me, in my opinion, that's a case that I have at home for home use and display use. And then you can see that <laughs> that terrible case down at the base here that's falling apart. I actually had to put some webbing and a clip right there to keep it together. So to answer that question, you know, what case should I use? It really depends on what you're using it for. If you just need poker chip storage, a birdcage is wonderful for home use or maybe light, light local travel use. And then you move into Pelican, Nanook, other, I call them camera cases. And lots of times you'll have to customize them yourself. I don't know of any camera cases that are already set up for poker chip trays or uses. Uh, like if you look at my, let's go back to my Tiki King set here it's kind of hard to see but these are actually in trays so it's really convenient just pull those trays out 
and there you go, there's your 300 chip set. By the way, these Tiki Kings still, I get a lot of use out of these. And one more thing I should mention while I'm showing you my sets, I do have several hundred, I just bought some more in the last six months or so, I forget exactly when, but I have hundreds of Milanos that I used to use for my craps table, and they're just kind of an everyday common use chip. So I have lots of Milanos too, but again, they're not in cases, they're just in boxes in storage right now. So they come out every now and then for various games. So uh, do we have any questions that I could answer live? I can keep talking. I have lots to discuss. I have some some chips here and things to discuss. So maybe a question to uh, anybody else out there is, what is your favorite stop in Las Vegas? Is my audio still coming across pretty clear here? It looks like it is, no complaints. So, under $300 poker chip set. That's a great question. Uh, let me think. If you're looking for a huge set under $300, some of my favorite discount chips are from discountpokerchip.com, something like that. They sell the Outlaw series. I think I have some right here. I do. So these Outlaw series are uh, an inexpensive way to get into a lot of poker chips. Uh, let's see if I can get this to focus. Block my face out here. I'm not sure if that's going to focus. Anyway, I like these Outlaw style poker chips. And if you're looking for maybe not 500 to 1,000 poker chips, you could go with something like the Tiki King Ceramics Nevada Jack. Find a set that you like. And you can get a set of 300, maybe 500 for under $300. And China Clays are also a great way to go. Uh, like I always tell people, get a sample set. Get some China Clay, some ceramics. And the ceramics are really pretty similar once you get to a certain level. So once you get a feel for a ceramic, depending on the design, you may like one design over another. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Some of the ones that I've noticed that feel a little different from, for example, the Tiki Kings feel different from the scroll ceramics, which feel a little different from the Nevada Jack ceramics. So there are a lot of options. And China clays are lovely too. I'm looking to see if I have any on hand right here. I don't. And there's some other ones that I'm a little hesitant to recommend. For example, a European uh, poker chip forum member sent me these Huego chips. They're called fichas in Italian. I don't, I don't speak Italian, so something like that. And I think these are discontinued. So hard for me to recommend something that's discontinued. These are very similar in material to the Next Gen Pro Classics, which again, I think might be discontinued as well. Hope that answers your question. There, there's quite a variety out there. Get some samples and uh, you can make your decision. Dice chips. Well, we can talk about, we can talk about dice chips. Uh, dice chips... For me, if you watch some of my videos where I take some chips and so these are some Horseshoe Cleveland Paulsons. These are actual casino chips. And when I squeeze them like this, the dice chips, if you have some dice chips, rock them like this. They rock very wildly. They're very inconsistent with their quality control. And so for me, if I have the choice, I wouldn't necessarily choose those chips. However, I have hundreds and hundreds of dice chips that I used to use for my craps table. And so I get it. I, dice chips are actually very versatile. And for example, they actually still come out when I'm playing craps sometimes with friends because I have a four-year-old boy and he will literally take a handful of them and throw them off our balcony into the street. Poker chips, street, not a good mix. So dice chips, in, even in my set where I have lots of poker chips, still have a use. So don't feel like I'm saying dice chips are unacceptable. They are still the base entry-level poker chip that you can buy at Walmart, you can buy anywhere. Are they my favorite? No, but you can understand, you know, their position, their position in the market, kind of at the bottom base entry level, but very useful. They're very playable. And to me, they're better than the interlocking bicycle style poker chips. Ah, nose itch. Uh, let's see. Is it smart to buy used poker chips? That's a tough question. So I have, you saw my, let's roll those back in. You saw my Horseshoe Cincinnati set. 
these I purchased used. A casino used Paulson set. Uh, last time I checked, what, two months ago, they still had some of these available on Poker Chip Forum. And these, uh, it wasn't a perfect flawless transaction. Does that make sense? So I bought those used chips. Let's get, let's see if I can make myself bigger here. Whoa, that's a lot of meat. So the chips, I don't have any of the Cincinnati. I just have the Cleveland horseshoe. I bought some of these as well. But when I bought the uh, Cincinnati used Paulson poker chips, they are used, they are casino chips, and some of them were damaged. So it looked like some of them had huge gouges taken out of them. Some of them were cracked. So I actually had two that were broken. And you can see I bought some extras because I was, I kind of knew that was going to happen. So the question of, is it smart to buy used poker chips? That's a tough question. I did, and I'm really happy with my purchase because you're getting an actual casino chip, casino quality chip at a, at a good price. Now, if you're talking about used sets like other used sets besides like casino chips, I would also say you can find some really good deals. And I would say it's usually pretty a pretty good deal. For example, I see some Tiki Kings. I have, you go back to my picture of my Tiki Kings. I see these on sale used for a really good deal. I think I paid around 79 cents a chip at BR Pro Poker for these chips. But used, I see these going for around 50, well, it's, see, it depends everywhere you go, but for about 50 cents a chip. So you save right there, what, 30 around 30%, 33% buying them used, and the quality looks pretty good. So it's a case-by-case -case situation, but it's always good to look at used poker chips. I would definitely consider them if you're looking for a high-grade poker chip. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, I hope that answers your question, Notre Dame. I haven't been reading questions. I've been so rude. Wade de Moss, Notre Dame. Color up. I'm thinking of getting custom printed poker chips. Was looking at clay poker chips from Chip Lab have a better recommendation for custom. I'm not familiar with Chip Lab. I'm not going to comment because I just don't know. For custom chips, let me think. How do I go about custom chips? You've Maybe you've seen my video where I just experimentally made some labels. That was interesting and insightful for me. Uh, you can custom ceramics. You can custom make classic poker chips, which is pretty expensive. And uh, I don't know if so color up if you do order some from chip lab let me know how that goes lots of times when i see a clay poker chip to me that means abs with maybe some some clay content in there and usually it seems like there's a metal slug i haven't i'm not that familiar with chip lab let me see if i can look them up real quick but yeah it's it really is on a case-by-case -case basis so places i would go uh, what is it? ABC Gifts is something like that. They make some poker chips, BR Pro Poker, do custom ceramics. Uh, the ones they have here on their front page look like ABS Metal Slug chips, again, with possibly some clay content. So those are reasonable. I've had sets like that before, ABS chips with labels, and I get a lot of great use out of them. They're not necessarily my favorite feel of chip. They are a little heavy for my taste, but again, it comes down to taste. So they're they're probably a very reasonable chip and just understand what you're getting. And you can always get, you should be able to request samples and they'll send you samples so you can uh, be familiar with their product. Uh, better yeah see, uh, better recommendation that's probably chip lab is probably going to have a really good price for you so if that's in your price range that might be your best bet again then you're moving into custom ceramics or custom clay chips through classic poker chips uh, and i know apache poker chips does some customization too so you might be able to get a custom china clay set but again you're going to be paying more than chip lab i'm sure color yes i saw the the print label video i will have a sample order there yeah all right excellent how many chips do you need for three players? Uh, I think for me, I'd be happy with about 150. I know that I could do it with 100 because I have before. So need is kind of a difficult question. 
I would probably err on the side of more is better. I'd probably go around, the smallest set I would really want to get is around 300, because that way you have flexibility and other buy-ins and stuff. Would I play at the World Series? Yes. Is that a sponsorship offer? Is somebody gonna, somebody gonna bankroll me here? Uh, let's talk about uh, Las Vegas real quick. So what is your, where is your favorite place to stay? in Las Vegas. I've stayed in lots of places. Bellagio, the Wynn. I think I have some pictures here too. Uh, here's the Bellagio picture that I took. Um, I love, it looks like these are like olive trees or something. I don't know what those are, but it has a very Italian look to it. And this was taken recently too. You know, there's these huge Caesars, um, huge Caesars towers next to this and Vidara and Cosmo just to the left, Jockey Club right there. So I don't know, Bellagio is pretty nice. But, I don't know, I think my favorite place to stay is a place right next door called Vidara, because it's so quiet. There's no casino traffic, there's no club. It's like, if you get a bad room in the Bellagio, meaning a low room over the club, on a weekend, sometimes you just get that unts, 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 all night long, and it gets kind of obnoxious. So, uh, I don't know. The other thing is, if I were to play in the World Series, I would definitely stay at Resort. So if I were to play in the Win Classic or something, the spring, the one like the Win tournaments, I would stay at the Win. If I were playing it in the World Series, I would try to book like what two years in advance a room in the Rio. It'd be fun. I wouldn't play like the large games. I'd probably play like the what's that massive one with millions of people. Hundreds of millions of people, not that many, but lots of people that enter it. The, uh, uh, what do they call it? Anyway, yeah, I'd play some of those. That'd be fun. And so Vidar is my favorite place to stay. And Las Vegas is really interesting because <laughs> you, you walk out on the strip, and there are places where you can see like the Win, the Mirage, TI, and then you look down, you can see MGM Grand, and you're like, oh, I can see everything. But if you try to walk all of that, like, like, I went on a walk trying to collect some casino poker chips. You can see Cromwell right here. Oh my goodness. It takes all day, and I was it was like running an Ironman three times. My feet hurt, my knees hurt. I was just like, man, this is a huge, huge venue. Do you want to look through? Maybe we should look through some of these chips here. Custom Poker Chip Forum is commented here about custom chips. Matsui makes some awesome chips. Again, you're going to have to worry about your, your price range. Do you think you'd be at a table with someone like Phil Iverden? No. The odds of me playing in one of their events is, is very small. They're going to be in high roller events. Look at this face. Do I look like a high roller to you? I do have some luscious hair. Look at this hair. Does my hair look this good in real life? Uh, so, talking about some uh, some casino chips. Before we do that, let me just talk about what we're looking at here. We have some cases here. Now, most collectors would be familiar with these cases. These are called airtight plastic cases. Great way to collect chips. And it's laughable. I put a Pulse and Classic in here. Just um, I'm a tester, so I'm testing these. I actually don't have enough casino chips to fill all these up, so I just threw some chips in here. These are H39, so you can see there's no foam insert, just an H39 airtight case. And some of them are H, actually that might have been a 40, because this is an H40 airtight case. Airtight spelled A-I-R-T-I-T-E. And the CPC, the classic poker chip chips, fit better in the H40 than the H39. So I have some H40 and H39 holders. So, you know, quick discussion about chips. Like you can see, I love Las Vegas Paulson chips. Not just Las Vegas, I love Paulson chips here in general. Looks like we have some like Venetian. This is the Palazzo right here, advertisement. It's fun to see the different, the different things here. I'm getting down to this Cromwell. They sell them in little tubes on Amazon, so that's what we're at right now. Who's my favorite poker player? Ooh, you see, that's a tough question. Uh, here on YouTube, 
I would def definitely recommend going and finding Andrew Nimi. I think he's favorited on my channel. He's one of my favorite players to watch. As far as like high roller players, there's always Doug Polk, who does an amazing job. There's uh, Daniel Negreanu, who's really positive. I like him. I like it. I like it how he has personality and he's not afraid. Like I'm not vegan, but I love it how he's always he's always preaching vegan because he has character, you know. And I like that. Um, Harris. This is one of my dad's favorite stops when I was growing up. Harris Steamboat. I think this is not the Steamboat era. And I know before that it was actually I actually have one here. It was the Holiday Casino. You remember that? That was right across from the Mirage. Harrah's, Las Vegas, lots of fun. Anyway, I really love these cases. Caesar's Palace. Caesar's has a pretty good buffet. Good seafood, good Chinese food. They had some good dim sum options. I'm looking at the time here. I'm gonna probably stop the stream in four minutes. Let's see what else we have for you here. I got so many chips here. Uh, what's your favorite Las Vegas chips? Do you guys have a favorite resort, favorite chip? Let's see what else we have here. We have a picture of some elite. For an economy chip, would you say the Desert Heat, Bluff Canyon, Mint, or the Gold Rush chips are decent chips? Yes, those are decent chips. I actually had some, I have some Desert Heat samples, I have some Mint samples, and they're exactly what I expect from the more economy chip. And it's basically, with those selections right there, it's just choose your favorite design. For me, out of those, it would probably be, ooh, Desert Heat looked nice, but ooh, maybe, yeah, I'd choose Desert Heat, followed by Mint. The Mint, whatever, Mint. We have, it looks like we have a close-up here of some New York, New York poker chips. These are one of my favorites. I'm looking here, Bally's. I don't have it here in this tube, so I'm not going to go digging around looking for it. The, you can see the New York, New York one is different from the five. And have I ever had a Royal Flush? No, I've never had a Royal Flush. I've been so close. I've had a straight flush from nine to king, but I've never had a Royal Flush. Yeah, they're, yeah, exactly. They're, they're very similar. And so, and so this is another question I get a lot of time about mixed sets. People ask, is it okay to have a mixed set? Yes, absolutely. Because you look at New York, New York, for example. On the one, they have a top hat and cane mold. You can see the little ring around there, the top hat and cane mold, New York, New York, $1. You can see it's not even centered. Casino chip. And then their five is a completely different mold. It's a house mold with an apple and it says New York, New York. And so they're completely, you know, they're not matching chips so i yeah, i have no idea it's kind of a reddish color blaze orange is that is that the paulson name for it i'm not actually that versed in collecting yet but it's a pretty bright uh, red i i suspect they've gone they update their chips at different times so they're going to update their five several years ago and it looks like they updated their one just recently and I am out of time. We are going to leave you with a uh, close-up of the five-year anniversary PCF chip. Look at this. This is made by GPI. And my understanding, Tommy, you can tell me if this is true or not. You can get one of these if you show up at a PCF of event this year. At least you have a bet, the, the best chance of getting one of these. So. Any other questions? Any last comments before I sign off here? I think that's everything I have prepared for you. Talked about cases, talked a little bit about Las Vegas. I'm looking through my images here. Good ceramic set for a tournament. Ooh, there are a lot of good ceramic sets. Uh, a lot of that depends on how much you're willing to spend and exactly what you're looking for. Yes, you can. Thank you. Pokerchipforum.com. Yes, go to a Poker Chip Forum event and get one of these chips. For me, things that I look for in a, in a ceramic set. Number one, it has to be affordable. 
and the second thing I look for, it's maybe the first thing, depending on who I'm playing with, is security. And that's when you really move into custom ceramics. And it gets, the cost gets pretty steep pretty quick. So if you're buying 1,000, 1,500, or 2,000 chips, I don't know how many people are going to be at your tables, it can get pretty expensive pretty quick. And with a custom ceramic, you don't have to worry about people going out and buying chips. And I know you probably trust your friends, but you don't have to worry about people buying chips off of Amazon and showing up with them and like, you know, coming out of coming out of their sleeves, literally. The heaviest chip I've ever owned. It's the coin inlay, the crown coin inlay. Those things weighed in at almost 16 grams a chip. Those things were immensely heavy. I remember I gave them to one of my friends who's a PhD in physics, and he's like, oh, these aren't that heavy. And he picked up a stack. He's like, oh, no, yeah, they're, they're very heavy. So, yeah, definitely. Anyway, I'm signing off. Hopefully, we can do this more often. I'm going to probably start a thread on PokerChipForum.com before I do this next time so we have a few more questions I can answer stock before we get into any live questions. Uh, oh, yeah, sit and go. Yeah, like ceramics almost any ceramic would do. And like I said, for a tournament, I'd probably just get something pretty inexpensive, like some scroll chips. Scroll chips are inexpensive. They're easy to get. They're you're easy to add on to. So if you need some more chips, you can grab some more of those. And they're pretty clean. It's pretty easy to see what they are. Now, that's just my opinion. So if you have a different opinion, I'll probably post this on YouTube. So look in the comments below. Thank you, everybody, for participating. And I will be back with more content and more live streaming. My name is John Hobby. Definitely visit our sponsor, PokerChipForum.com. Thank you so much for watching.